Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Traveling Time, Case 25. Going once, going twice, dead. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, Amy says that she found a head. Katria, I found something on the veranda that you must see. Oh, you found his head. I think... I think it's Harry Palettier's head. Oh, yeah. Um, I would definitely say that this is the missing piece of Harry Palettier. And you find it on veranda? Then there may be more clues. Let's go check it out, Katarina. Okay. And are we gonna examine the, the head? No. Okay. And you grabbed it with your bare hands, Amy. You should have worn gloves. You know that best. Water. Okay, fine. Oh, there. Got it. So this is where Amy found Pelletier's head. Did you find anything else? Excellent, Trida. A clue could be hiding in those straw pillows. Have a dig through them. But that broken wood might be important too. You have to piece it back together to be sure, though. No time to enjoy the view over the moonlit bay. We have work to do, Trida. Well, I gotta get it great. This is a good view. Alright, let's look through the pillows. Oh, is that a... Oh, it's a cigar butt. Katria, you found a cigar butt in a troll pillows. It looks like it's been exploded. That must be a fragment of the exploding cigar that blew off Henry Poletio's head. Let's get to Tia for analysis. Okay. Alright, now the wooden pieces. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's a pad, and that's from the Egyptian Trading Company. Good thing, it broke pretty piece together. It looks like some kind of paddle. You're right, an auction paddle. It must belong to one of the two parties bidding at the auction. That eye of Ram makes it clear it belongs to someone bidding for the Egyptian Trading Company. I've asked around and it turns out that Captain Shafra is the auction envoy for the Egyptian Trading Company. We first met him when we were investigating Blackbeard's murder, remember? Yes. Katia, this battle beats Shafra's already here for the auction. And finding his battle this close to the victim's head doesn't look good. I agree, you better go talk to Captain Shafra. Okay. Captain Shafra, I found your auction battle broken on the veranda of this estate. Not a problem, I have another. I'm not out of, out of the bidding. Well, there is a bit of a problem. You see, we found a paddle near the decapitated head of the auctioneer. The auctioneer is dead? Sacre bastet. This is a shock. 
We must find someone to replace him. The auction must go forward no matter what. That said, I won't be asking you for help. I know that you're in cahoots with the British, so I shan't say a word further. No, you just speak French. Did the killer left leave something behind on the cigar? Well, Katria, you done it. You found what was left of the cigar that killed Henry Pelletier. I found traces of gunpowder in the tobacco. That's great, since you know the killer touched it. Did they leave anything behind on the cigar? Not on it, but inside it. The killer left traces of laudanum on the tobacco and gunpowder they put into the cigar. Laudanum wasn't very well known before the 1700s, but as of 1719, it was being prescribed for nearly everything. So it's not a total surprise that the killer consumes enough laudanum to have left traces on items they have touched, including the contents of the murder weapon. Well, the killer's laudanum adult brain was clear enough to create a lethal cigar, so I'm sure that we fit to stand trial. But you have to catch them first. Good idea, Katia. Let's go back to the victim's bedchamber. There could be something we miss. Okay. Okay, let's investigate the bedroom again. No shrite in preview. Let's do it without it. A rope. Where's the pouch? God damn it. Stick up. Ah, I had it in my sight. Repeat again. Where is it? Oh, there. We found a noose in the victim's bedroom, Katrina. That's all. The rope's too short to use, so the victim wasn't looking to kill himself. Could this noose be a threat? We better have a closer look at the red substance on the rope. That faded card was addressed to the victim. I'll grab your dusty kit so we can read the rest. And I wonder what could be in that lockbox. You're right, Katria. It's worth a look. Let's get to work. Yes. Is that the hair? Huh? There was a wig in that locked box, Katerina. According to the tag, the wig belongs to Uriah Haddonfield. Oh, we know him. He's a hero of the East India Company and the auction envoy for the British. 
We met him in Cape Verde. But what would one of his excellencies wigs be in the victim's bedchamber? Yeah. You better go ask you how I had him feel about this. Yeah. Okay, now let's collect the substance from the noose. A sample that red stops us from the news. You better get it to Tia right away. Okay. All right. Okay, now the faded card. I'll show you how people should be treated. Simul Severin. Oh. Katia, I got the rating was signed by Simo Severine. The note she left for Pletia reads, I'll show you how people should be treated. That's cryptic. We better go ask Miss Severine what she meant by that. Yeah, what went wrong between you two? Alright, first let's go out chat with... With our acquaintance. Ah, Priority Katrina. Jolly good show. Have you prepared the treasure? Is everything ready for the auction? Yes, Your Excellency. Blackfish's treasure is ready for use. But the auction may be delayed. The auctioneer's been murdered. Blasted by an explosive cigar. Oh, I say. Was that what that dreadful noise was earlier? Yes, yeah, so he found your wig in his bedchamber. Any idea as to how that might have happened? The porter must have sent my wig to the wrong room. I'm also staying in Mr. Rain's mansion for the auction, you see. And you haven't seen anything out of the ordinary? No, what a shame that such an outstanding citizen should come to such an end. Okay. Okay, now Simone. Miss Severine, you left a rather interesting message from Henry Pelletier. Can you explain what you meant by, I'll show you how people should be treated? Oh, yes. Well, I once worked for Mr. Pelletier, before I became rich providing explosives for mining. He was horrible. For instance, he often would help pay for an employee simply because he was in a full mood. So why would you be willing to host him for the auction? When the King of France asks you for a favor, you do not say no. Besides, I want to show Pelletio how far a person could come up in this world without being cruel to others. Oh, see, see, play. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Well, unfortunately, someone was rather brutal with him on your estate. And we will discover who. Okay. What's this red substance? Katrina, the sample you collect from the news in the victim's bedroom is not what one might first expect. It's not blood. I'll show it to you. It's not blood. Oh no, it's a substance that could taste bull whale oil and crush cochineal insects. It's an 18th century lipstick. Lipstick? Hmm, only one of our suspects wears lipstick, Katrina, and that's Mary Reed. But she said that she didn't know anything about Pelletier. We will go confront Mary about this threat to the victim. Yeah, you had a noose with you. Mary, we found the noose you gave to the victim. Funny, you said you didn't know him at all. I don't lie about that. I had no idea who he was until we got to Tortuga. But you were so worried about this slash that I thought I'd pay the old man a visit to influence him in your favor. 
by tragedy here with the news? Well, a pirate is going to drop by for a nice cup of tea. We have an image to uphold. I couldn't read the little bar to scare him, but I thought the news would get the message across without much fuss. And what exactly will happen when you pay for let a visit? Well, I turn off speaking my most menacing French, news in hand. But the fool got so scared I had to give some of my old ladder to calm him down. I guess after I left, he broke that porch he had of me. I probably didn't live up to his dreams. I guess not. Look, we appreciate you trying to do us a favor, but please restrain any such help in the future. Uh, you tried to help us by threatening him. Wow. Katria, I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time seeing someone here who would give the auctioneer a little cigar. You don't have to shop around or head of you would act against their own interests and stop the auction by murdering Pelletier. And Simone said rewind to show the waiting that she could be the bigger person. That said, she did make her fortune in explosives. Well, what is it? Then there's Mary Reed. She's scared of waiting to influence his decision in the auction in our favor. But would she... Wait a minute, Katria. Do you smell smoke? Oh, there's fire! Oh no! Fire! Who caused the fire? Who wants to burn us? Alright, we gotta stop here. We gotta continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!